Exeter. Dr. J now part of the Sixers front office once again. Five points for the lead. They win the tap. Five and a half oh. in the third. Ding fell down. Couldn't get to open Lou Williams. And the clock's at five. Gotta go with Brand. Rebound by Gibson. From now to the end of the game, you gotta take care of your defensive board, and you must have good transition defense. 11 rebounds, 12 points. Gibson's been very good in the first half. Quiet offensively in the second. Here's Watson. I got hit. You got definitely got the, the contact outside. right there. Yeah, that was an easy call. On Williams, here's Tom Thibodeau in the last huddle. Go right there. Deep down. Deep down. Every loose ball. Extra effort. Possible effort. Possible play. First to four. Deep down. You got to fight. You got to fight. And his team's going to not only need to do that, Hubie, as Watson hits the first, but also drive to the basket. Because Philadelphia over the limit, five minutes left. A lot of free throws to the Bulls if they're aggressive. Well, the only guy getting to the line consistently is Watson. All right, he's six for six here, and it's in the second half. So the big thing, the rest of the people have got to say, hey, stop settling for the jumper. All right, let's see you get to the hoop, and especially if you're going to get a post-up game. And the Bulls can be aggressive defensively. Only two team fouls in the quarter. As Iguodala misses, rebounded by Boozer. That they're doing right now. They're not getting beat off the dribble and holding Philly to one shot. Corver comes out to get it. Down three. Corver on the deck. To Gibson. One point game. Well, that, that's the first time Gibson in this half has had a pass where he could look at the basket and have space to take a shot. That's a playoff career high. 14 points for Taj Gibson. Philly's offense getting stagnant. Nathan's getting restless. You gotta be careful here. Now Boozer missed him. Holiday a three. Hey, you can't you can't miss Holiday coming off the screen because Watson is trailing. Right? So consequently, if you're gonna play soft, as Holiday comes off, he has the space to look for the three. And you know coming into this, he's been shooting a high percentage in a three ball. Watson a floater. No. Got his own rebound inside. No calls. Watson goes to the deck. And it's Chicago last touch. Philly ball. Yeah, now just keep an eye here. Now, this, this is interesting what happens here. The ball goes right off of Watson's foot yep. as it goes out. But it's not it's not a real life. It was saved in bounds by Boozer, but they call it a kick there. Yeah, well, it didn't look intentional. The interpretation the is that it's supposed to be an intentional right. kick. Early by four. Holiday feeling it. Got them all! Timeout Chicago! Fourteen points in the second half for Drew Holiday. Now remember, coming into this game, he's shooting 45% in threes. Yo, you play loose, loser, I'm going to shoot it. How about this? Once again. In a best of seven, the last time it happened, it was the Heat swept by the Poles in 2007. You beat 334 to go, a seven-point lead. Holiday has been hot for the Sixers. Yeah, that right now, Chicago, this is a pressure timeout. You want to come out, execute a play, and get a score. You have been two for ten. Two for ten in this quarter. Still no Richard Hamilton, and it's just a coaching decision. He's not hurt. Boozer to the basket, strong, and one. As now, Carlos like, Boozer with a chance. I like the play. There was a lot of movement. All right, a number of guys were getting off the screens, but what they wanted was that flash post, get the ball to Boozer, and then clear out. Now, just watch it. You're going to see it right here. Fake it, and then just take his man one-on-one. -on -one. The rotating guy was late. It was a struggle in the playoffs last year for Boozer. He has come up with a very solid game, 23-11, and 11, in the absence of Rose and Noah here today. Well, the Bulls made their name the last two years on this end, on the defensive end. They have to come up with some stops in the last three. Clock at six. Holiday, nothing going on. Hawes boots it. Iguodala's going to have to send one up. A foul is called. Nope, no foul, no foul. 
The fans jumped up. Looked like a foul was called over here. That's the correct call. Yeah, there, there, but there is zero yes. on the clock. There is zero on the clock right there. The big thing right now is let's see if Chicago can run again, run that continuity. And the big thing, let's see Philly defense you now. Don't let them get inside the paint. Watson free on the screen and roll. Two-point game. See, Williams can't play soft now. Williams has got to play tough on these screens because they're playing two-man basketball on the left side of the floor with Watson and Boozer on the last two exchanges. Six quarters, he had no points. He's 15 here in this second half. Biggest half of the year for the Bulls. Iguodala, no. Brand a big oh, rebound. Bad, bad defensive positioning by Corver. Corver had inside position, should have come down with that, with that miss. Corver guarding Lou Williams, wants to take him. Got in the paint and finds Hogs. Beautiful pass. They want you get beat off the dribble against Chicago or Philly, and you rotate on that baseline, run without the ball because you're going to be wide open. The clock, I believe, had started to roll, and they're going to get it straightened out because it was not picked up yet by Watson. Now, just keep an eye. Now, now watch the guy in the corner. I see once I come down in here right now, and then what? I move on the baseline. Why? Because the man leaves me to help out because you have been beaten off the dribble. The alley was there. That was a tight window to yeah. squeeze it in. Well, I like the fact that they're looking. Philly's interior passing today has been excellent. 22 for Hawes. Big screen by Boozer. Brand covering Watson on the switch. Watson again! Now Watson was looking for a call, but you're not going to get that one. I like the fact that he leveled Brand off. He leveled them off and then created the space with the dribble. Bulls down two. Not over the limit. Williams lining up dang this time. Lost the handle. Holiday finds a crease inside. Rebound Chicago and Taj Gibson with 124 to go. Uh, that was a great rebound by Gibson. He's had a, a terrific game with double figure rebounds. The Bulls can tie or take the lead. Here's that two-man game again. Now see if you send the baseline. If Boozer goes to the basket and is denied by Brandon Hall. Well, see, that was just beautiful. Change your defense. They changed and they sent him to the baseline. Did not let him go to the middle and trap. Beautiful rotation. Shot clock at 10. It's an isolation for a holiday with Watson. Corver there defensively. And a foul is called. In the axe of two free throws coming. Now, Billy, they step to the baseline. They force the pass into the middle. Beautiful rotation. Two on that block. They go up strong and they get it. You're not going to get any kind of body contact I, at either I, end here. I, right I now. guess not. I no. mean, I, that was. That's right. Wow. Now, at the other end, you can see why Thibodeau was definitely upset because on the shot, you could see Holiday fade, and they are claiming that there was no body contact on the shot. After you didn't get it on the and other you end. You didn't get it at the other end. Yeah. Correct. Holiday makes the first. Free throws have been an issue for Philadelphia here today. Two guys, great friends, a lot of mutual respect between these two men. Doug, the former Bulls coach, Thibodeau, coach of the year two years ago, the coach of the year this past season, second in the voting this past year. To the foul line, they make one or two, it's five or six. Or do you play your defense, force them to miss, and hope that once you get this rebound that there will be anywhere from 20 to 28 seconds left on the clock? A chic is coming. Doug Collins has two guys in the backcourt. They advanced it to the front court with the timeout. That's a great job by Philadelphia as he used that change in the rule to get the ball in. And we have a foul or a kick violation? Kick violation. Just a kick violation on Deng on the side. And since it doesn't happen below 14, the shot clock stays at 19. See, they're playing clock management, which we said. That's why you have an option in that situation. So what they're going to do is they're going to play the 24 second clock what they're hoping for now because Chicago has two 20 seconds timeout is that once again go for the steal you don't get the steal all right the big thing right now is you do not want to foul now because you've let too many Ooh. seconds go off the clock. Williams almost had it knocked away now Holiday pitches it out to Turner clock at 11 out of the corner it is Williams from the top Holiday they went for the foul didn't get it called Iguodala 
down the lane over a sheet, and then the foul is called. No, and no. that's the worst possible scenario for that's the right. Bulls, and well played by Philly. Absolutely. The big thing there is, is if you if you take the option of running the clock down, a play strategy, okay, then what's happening here is you can't foul because now you've allowed all these seconds to go by. Now when you foul, it just defeated everything that you wanted. You wanted to make a steal, or you wanted to get a miss, and then get the ball back with still anywhere from 28 seconds around that marker to go. And then you would have been fine because you had two timeouts remaining, 220 seconds, and you could move the ball. Iguodala hits the first free throw. You credit the officials there because you usually anticipate the foul. Watson didn't give the foul. He no. tried to, he kind of went half-heartedly, and the dribbler moved around him. One more for Iguodala to make it a six-point Sixers lead. Timeout Bulls. All right, this puts a ton of pressure on the Bulls now when they come out of this next timeout. All right, you've got to make the three. Last year with Memphis and San Antonio, and the Spurs incurred all their injuries right before the playoffs, and here the Bulls, they get their injuries in the playoffs. But still, Philadelphia is trying to do what a lot of people didn't think would happen in best of seven game series in the first round, and that's an eight knocking off a one. Well, you look at the Chicago, come on, in game three, all right, you're still up seven with four minutes to go, all right, and in this game, you were right there. Now the big thing is right now is can you make the three and then get in the defense. Do not assume they're going to call timeout. Hamilton's back in. Into to Boozer. Deng attacks the basket. Scores. Four-point game. Now Chicago will foul quick after trying for the steal. Turner is hit by Hamilton and Korver. And with 21.4, try to keep the Sixers perfect at the line here in this fourth quarter. Now what they did when they came out of that timeout, they threw the ball into Boozer and they back screened for the man coming out of bounds. If he was open, they would have shot the three, and that was Watson. He was not open, so the man who catches the ball now spins and goes to the basket because of clock management and scores. Now you go into the steal, all right? You don't get the steal. You must foul because everything comes down to the 21 seconds. Keep yourself alive. And there you go. Turner misses one to help the cause. Now Chicago with one timeout. Where does Thibodeau use it? Here? Does he save it for that very last chance, hoping he can get it to three? Now, what you're trying to do, Mike, is save seconds, okay? Now, I don't know if he communicated because he only has one left. Now he's going to use it. Yep, makes the one of two, 87-82. Five-point game with just dribble it out. And fouled by Watson with 10.6 to go. Great decision by Meeks and Philadelphia is on his way to a 3-1 series lead against the number one seed. Now give them a lot of credit. They got what they wanted. That same type of a play. They ran baseline movement, and then by hitting and back screening, they had that over. Now if that open three goes through, it would have been great. Unfortunately for them, you get the miss, and then Philly gets a break on that pass, which could have caused a turnover yep. in order for me to get the ball to rotate back into the half court. Doug Collins telling Evan Turner, everybody else on this Sixer team, no fouls. Meeks, who was a starter, good part of the year. Knocks down some big free throws. The lead is seven. Big thing now, no foul. Let them shoot the ball. It doesn't make a bit of difference. Yep. Corver comes to get it. He'll lean into a three. It's an air ball. And the Bulls are going back to Chicago down 3-1 in the best of seven. Philadelphia, which has not won a playoff series since 2003. One win from the second round. In the city of the Liberty Bell, they ring the bell for victory.